previously on Winchester's. I think that by the time we see the 11s, things should be just a little bit different, a little bit more special. 10 signature shoes is no easy feat, but we all know how special the 11th one is, don't we? Yeah, we do. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review on these bad boys right here. This is the Curry brand Curry 11. Now, first things first, I believe that these were designed by Ed Wallace. Hopefully I'm not mistaken. He is a senior footwear designer over at the Curry brand and he did make a post about these. I follow him or he follow, we follow each other. So I thought that, or I assume that he was the lead design behind this guy. So congratulations to Ed. I think this is his first one. If that's true, <laughs> that's awesome now the color of this one is amazing i think i think this is a great debut colorway i am partial to the dub nation stuff because i'm from the bay area so yes i'm part of dub nation but that was not the launch colorway i do wish that they did two i wish that it was these and the dub nation side by side letting you pick but anyways this colorway right here is just awesome looking and i love the way that the shoe is split i don't know if all the colors are going to look like this but i think that this toe down view is freaking beautiful also one last thing based off of the images that we've seen so far or uh, you know unveiled of future colorways it looks like this is the first one that we've seen that has a colored flow outsole there's an all black one uh so yeah i think that's pretty cool i'm pretty sure it's the only one let me look real quick just a quick look Oh, it was the slip-on shoe. So I guess technically that's the first one. It was the pink one. Oops, sorry. And with that being said, the outsole is very much of the same. Like there's nothing really to talk about here. It's a digital pattern engraved or carved or molded directly into the midsole itself. It's all Under Armour's Flow technology. Does this work indoors exceptionally well? You bet your sweet ass. <laughs> goat level traction i would say yes with the only thing being just be careful for dust and be careful for moisture those are the only real things to look out for obviously it will depend on your court not all courts are created equal some really do suck and i'm not talking about just the wood courts and you know the surfaces and stuff like that some that need to be refinished but especially those puzzle ones those tie i i absolutely dislike those unless they've made them better since the last time i've used them i loathe those things and outdoors i really enjoy the flow as well it's never given me a problem outside uh, even though it does grind down because it's not rubber it actually grinds down smoothly and it also grinds down evenly so for me it's never been an issue i do know that some people that just see the wear and tear they're instantly turned Turned off by that I guess that's fine but it's not a big deal now as far as the cushion is concerned typically that's where I would say it's the same thing as the outsole it's all flow it's the Under Armour flow technology it's all one piece yada 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 but this time they did it different which I think is awesome I've been calling for this for a hot minute now and it's finally here with the 11th iteration of their shoe and it's right here with the fourth iteration of their Under Armour Curry flow technology shoes where it's finally dual density so they made this not just for curry but for most other people, which I think is fantastic. They've been needing to do this for a hot minute now. Luckily, this person on Instagram has a cross cut of the sneakers. So you can actually see the dual density design and everything like that, or at least how it's implemented. There is no word that I've seen or read so far on the press releases and things like that, as far as like what type of material or foam that is. I just know that it's not as dense as the flow technology is. One thing that I wish that they would have done is one named it because that would have been cool. It's just a call out, you know what I mean? Like a marketing tactic. But also I think that it would have been cool or a nice little play on their heritage to have revamped one of two foams. The first one, Micro G. I just think that would have been awesome. The second one, Charged, also awesome. That was introduced with the Curry One. That was the first dual density shoe that they did. The two followed suit. The three was technically dual density even though it was just foam pucks in the heel but still it's different than the main foam carrier and then from the four onward it was just kind of foam we might have gotten like a decent insole but nothing crazy oh speaking of the insole this is it it's nothing to write home about you can easily replace it if you don't like it one thing that i do like though is that it's a little bit of additional step in comfort as well as the strobel liner that you can see in there which is also like that blue color now how does all of this stuff feel it was a little underwhelming i will be honest uh, it was underwhelming at my first try on i've put them on since and put them on the little wood floor and things like that and i will be uh, using these tonight actually when i go to coach our kids and stuff I, I, I don't know how that even happened i'm a basketball coach now for the youth for free by the way it's a volunteer position i suppose when you have nothing left to give the game itself you pass on what you've learned to the next gen but one of the things though is that i just hope that it breaks in because again if you see this cross cut diagram or image of the shoe 
The forefoot is very interesting. You can see little craters underneath the forefoot. And so I'm wondering if that stuff kind of like will allow it to compact and move a little bit while you're pressing your weight on it. Where the little notch or open hole right here at the heel is supposed to do kind of the same thing. It's almost like a runner's trick that they use on a lot of running shoes where it allows the foam to compress without actually like being fully there. It reduces weight and allows it to move. However, one thing that I would have chosen to do with the, uh, the drop-in or the internal foam or whatever is also core it out. That's when you actually have holes throughout it. So again, when you press on there with all of your weight, it's allowing the foam to move, expand, contract, all of that stuff because it's essentially housed inside this firmer carrier. So fingers crossed that it breaks in. So far, it's definitely more comfortable than the previous flow models, but is it going to be amazing? I don't know. All right, guys, so quick update. I just got back from doing my coaching thing, and these guys, once broken in, are definitely more comfortable than any of the previous flow releases. So if you were interested in grabbing a curry that has actual cushion this time, this is the one to get. Now, the upper is a mixture between a few different materials. The first one that you see on the sidewall right here is Under Armour's Warp technology. I believe that was introduced on the Curry 9, and it's been on every curry since. I think it was on last year's Model 2. Uh, it's only on the lateral side, so they're allowing for some airflow there while all of the nylon strands are for reinforcement and support. And the medial side actually reminds me a lot of the Curry 4 Flotro, the Lowe's, where it's just a basic textile, but it's very comfortable and it feels good on foot. Now what is adhering all of these different materials together is the fuse. So you could see that up the, the toe and they got this weird shiny piece. It's kind of like out of place a little bit, but maybe it's like a little nod to the Air Jordan 11. I don't know. If it was, that'd be cool. The heel counter is very substantial in comparison to past models. And uh, I really like it. It also has that same iridescent look that the uh, little toe piece does. And then one of my favorite little details that they added on there was something that I almost missed. I actually saw it when I was doing the B-roll is that it says created for the greatest shooter ever. I think that that's really cool. Again, kind of leaning towards that. I don't want to like specifically say Air Jordan vibe, but you know, quality products inspired by the greatest player ever. Nike's got their tagline where it's like engineered to the exact specification of championship athletes. LeBron has his and I can't remember what it is right now, but you know, everybody's got one. And now so does he. And it's factual. Greatest shooter ever. One thing to note, the tongue is semi-gusseted. It's not all the way up here, but it is about midway down. So if you don't like that, you might not like that, but I like it, so. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, I would say go true to size. If you've worn any of the past curries, especially the ones with the flow bottoms, it's pretty much the same thing. They're very snug, perfect for me, and perfect for basketball or sport. If you want to wear them casually, you could possibly go up half a size, but I think that you'll start to get some heel slip. Uh, even if you are maybe a wide footer and you're going up half a size for performance, I think you still might get heel slip. This is a, you know, it's not like suction cupped on you. Like I can slide these on really easily, even though they're tied. I didn't feel any heel slip while I was on the court or anything like that. So I'm not worried about that for me personally. But again, if you're going up half a size because you have a wide foot, you may encounter heel slip issues, which is pretty standard if you do go up half a size from your true size. But with all that, being said, sound off below and let us know what you think about these in the comment section. Do you think this is the best looking curry so far? Are you excited to try dual density flow technology? Which colorway is your favorite? Is it this one, possibly the Dub Nation, or maybe it's another altogether? Sound off below, let us know. We'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We greatly appreciate it. We will catch y'all on the next one. So until then, have a good one.